Now, what are the causes of divorce in marriages? You know, what are the things that usually you've never been divorced and you will never be? And, mm -hmm. you know, but what I, based on your experience, based on your exposure, and based on your learnings, you know, even before as a single person, single lady should be able to outline yeah. some reasons why people divorce. So now you are not just single, you are happily married, fantastic children. So what are the causes of divorce? The reason why we want to apply this is, so that will lead us to the next question. Mm. Mm. It's a very, for me, it's so sad. You know, mm. it's sad. I used to ask my husband that, how can I say, okay, I'm in love with this person for the for the, for the past 25 years, 10 years, five years, 30 years. We've heard of people that have been married for 40 years and they're like, I'm tired, I want, I want a divorce. And I'm like, what, what has been happening for the past 40 years? Absolutely. So when I talk, just, just talking about it now, something that you listen to me that Galatians chapter five, verse, from verse 19 to 23, it talks about the fruit of the spirit. You know, that, that was, I'm in the teenage ministry, and that's what we're talking about on Sunday. I'm just thinking about it now. One thing that dropped into my mind is the gift of the spirit, love, joy, peace, faithfulness, gentleness, kindness, and the, mm. the greatest of us is self-control. Mm. Whether we believe it or not, the lack of all these things, if you look at it very well, mm. it's, it's, I'm, not, I'm not blaming anybody. I will uh, never be. I will never blame the woman. I will never blame the man. But it's a lack of all these things. Because if there is no love, there will be no peace. There will be no joy. There will be no faith. Why am I not peace? There's no faith. What am I, why am I faithful to somebody? Why? When there is no, well, you now say self-control, which is even the papa of all of them. So it's, it's, it's sad. And I will say it again. A lot of people, are not preparing for marriage, especially now. That's why we have so many divorce cases. A lot of people are just after, oh, my friend PLM is married. Oh, I want to get married now. And when they get married, you did not prepare. You did, you know, you are not prepared in your, it's not just prepared in terms of financial. No, your mind must be prepared for marriage. Your mind, your heart must be willing, like, okay, see, am I ready to make some sacrifices? Am I willing to shift? Am I willing to stay by this man no matter what? Am I willing to stay by with this man? And it's not fine, girl. It's not shit. Because unfortunately for we, most women, when you don't burn one like this, bam. <clears throat> the <laughs> number eight is going to number 10. Number 10 is moving to 30. And you know, you understand what I'm saying. So it's not, it's not even the beauty. It's not the, it's not how brilliant that the guy is. He's so good. He has money. No. Is the person, the person, the person, and I'm not when I talk about the person, the person inside that person is who you are getting married to. Are you willing to stick to that person? Because sometimes marriage can be rosy, especially first, first, let me say, first five years of marriage can be, oh, love it, w, 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 w. but it can still be. So a lot of people believe in this thing that, oh, then by, by six years, you see that the love don't fade. Oh, by eight years, by 10 years, is a lie. The truth is, this is a lie. Let me say that his divine power has given us everything that we need for life. If I have the love of Christ in me, that compels me, that compels me. It's not, I'm, I, I don't love my husband because of who he is, but I love my husband because of God. So you must be able to love that person, not because, yes, the person should do his part. Come on. To do your part now, eh? I should do my part. But the the thing is, this is the person that you have said you love. Are you willing to stay by that person? See, the truth is, people have issues. People have baggages. Some people have anger issues. Some people have sexual issues. Some people don't know how to handle finances. Some people don't know how to even talk. So those are the things that will be coming out. And you are married to this person. Are you willing to still stay by that person? Are you willing to go to cancel counseling sessions with that person? I have a friend that the the man is I don't know. Is he has anger issues? Fantastic man, fantastic, wonderful, but anger is the problem. So that is why 
as Christians, we have a leverage above, above most people because you know you can, I would say that you can come before God, walk before him to receive the, into the throne of grace, to receive mercy. So, and that is why it's, it's, we have a higher calling. You can go back and say, and if you have done it well, and I'll say it again, if you have done it well, if you have gone through the channels well, even though some people don't do it well, you can still come back to God and say, God, I need your help. Bible says that he is our present help in the time of need. And that is why you I like you, I like your people a lot. He said, Joko si diaba, koma bali, joko si diaba. If you do the right thing, you will not start struggling unnecessarily and say, okay, let me just quickly rewrite. No, if I've done it well at the beginning, it's not going to be perfect, but you would have scaled through unnecessary things that you should not be, you know, you, should, you shouldn't get, be getting yourself into. So there are so many things that it will come up. It will come up, but you must be willing to just pay. Must be willing to help. And I, even though I've said this, it doesn't mean that when it has gone to a point whereby, hey, <clears throat> your life is very important. Because some people will say, oh, because maybe I said so. So therefore, if I have an abusive man or an abusive wife that want to kill me, I come and sit down there. It's a lie, yo, carry your bag and work car. That's it. So, <laughs> so that is it. <laughs> uh -huh. You're muted. Thank you. Yeah. From what you've said, I could deduce that um, one must be spiritually ready. Yeah. For marriage, you must be psychologically ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For marriage, you must be emotionally ready for marriage. And it's not even how to place to say you must be spiritual and um, financially ready for marriage. And <laughs> yes, so. Very, very key. Now, I will say it again. Mm -hmm. Very, very key. Financially absolutely, ready. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, do you agree with this that that person before marriage? is still the same person. After wedding, the person before wedding is still going to be that same person before after wedding. This is what I mean that, okay, this person has always been abusive before wedding. If because you love that fellow and you feel, oh, I love him and that is it, I'm going to marry him, I can't marry another person, and you thinking that person is going to change after <laughs> wedding, that is in marriage. What do you say about that? No, um, I, will, I, 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 don't, I don't care what anybody wants to say, okay. but I'm going to, I'm going to say it and I, what I believe in. I mean, I believe the scripture too. Mm. Somebody that has issues, if he can, if you can, that's why it's important when you are getting when you when you are even in love, don't just love with your mind, love with your brain. It's mm -hmm. very key. Absolutely. Especially, especially women, especially women, we should love with our brain. This is somebody that beats you, that slaps you, that insults you. He will not change. And say mm -hmm. maybe God, because you are not God. Remember mm -hmm. that before we gave our life to Christ, we were we had a particular habit, a particular attitude. It is not the day we gave to our, our life to Christ that we changed. Yes, our spirit man had been changed, but our soul, our mind need to be renewed. You know, it's a gradual process. But are you willing? Why do you want to put yourself in that kind of situation? Carry baggage. Somebody that will be beating you will be until you and no, come on. And for people that some people that like there's one man for one woman, it's a lie. There's no one man for one woman. If this mm. one is not working, God will bring somebody else. I have Absolutely. one slogan. If okay. soldier go, general go come. That's mm. my sister. I don't my slogan. If this guy mm. is not okay for you, God is bringing a better person. Mm. God will not open his eye down and say, oh, this is my precious daughter that I have packaged, that I have put so many content in, and not give it to me. Come mm. on. It's not going to, mm. no. And that is why it is important that we should go through counseling. You don't need to wait till when you get married. You don't need to wait even before you get married. You should be going to different seminars, read books, look at different documentaries, listen to people. I believe, I believe, even though I've made mistakes in the past, 
I believe that both based on my mistake, if I tell people now, I tell them, you don't need to do that. For my own mistake, you should learn. You shouldn't sit down with somebody that will be beating you, that will be talking to you anyhow. Mm -hmm. No. See, somebody that is wonderful, you will know. The, unfortunately for people, um, you we, we show our, our best or the best series when we are in a relationship. When okay. you marry, that is it. Mm -hmm. You will not come out very, very, mm -hmm. very Somebody mm -hmm. that is abusive, somebody that has issues, somebody that lies, somebody that steals. Some, you know, you might not be stealing like I'm Robert, but somebody that you, you has issues with trust yeah. in your relationship, that's when you start seeing things. That's yeah. when you see signs. And that is when you, you call it off. Don't wait. It's better that a relationship broken is better than a marriage that's broken. Absolutely. It's better. It's better. I'll give an example. I like giving an example of myself. As I said, I, I went out with somebody before. I think my first boyfriend. I, I would say from the beginning, self. I was into that relationship with the wrong motive because everybody was having boyfriends, so that I had a boyfriend, which is number one, wrong, error, error number one. Error number two is the fact that I was just trying, I was just trying to just say, you know, the belief that believe, some people believe in my first love, I must get married to my first love. Mm -hmm. Error number two. Who told you mm -hmm. that your first love, you should be the person you marry? It's a lie. So I was just there. I was just like, okay, it should work. It should work. You was doing so many things that I want, on a normal day, I will. I, I say myself that I will never have done. that. when I tell my friend, you like, oh yeah, that's ballet. Because mm -hmm. on a normal day, you will never do what you are telling me that you did. Mm -hmm. So, but because I was not trying to just be there, it will change things to get better. Somebody that has not married, that has not married you. Ha. So those are the things that I was there and I was thinking that it's going to change you. Until the day we had an argument and he slapped me. Hey, that was that was it. In fact, I just told myself that Debbie, if you like your step, carry your bag, na 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 na, and go. So, but you know, I thank God that even though I was trying so hard, I thank God that I I left that relationship. Some years later, again, I rededicated my life to Christ. And I actually saw what God had been telling me for years that I was not listening to. Today, the, the, the so-called person is a believer now. And then we've been friends, Joe, but I thank God that I was, I'm not there. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not yeah. still there. Because the truth is, he yeah. won't be ready to marry. That's the yeah. truth. See, you understand? So I know God are in that situation. You think, oh, he will change. He will not change. Mm -hmm. He will not change. If you have a wrong, if you have different, it's not, it's not even, we are even talking about uh, physical abuse. No. There are some people, their belief system is different. Mm -hmm. I believe so much in the Bible. Anything mm -hmm. that is not in the Bible, if you are telling me it's not, it's not going to work, then I'm find out that, oh, this person is a wonderful guy, nice guy, kiniko, kiniko, but he doesn't believe in the Bible like the way I believe in the Bible. It will not work. Because when mm -hmm. I'm talking, and I'm talking about the Bible, you're like, Debbie, you today, or uh, mother in Israel, we'll be having issues. So <laughs> And you feel, and you feel that mm -hmm. oh, he will, he will not change except the Holy Spirit steps in, and it is better that the Holy Spirit should step in first. Me, I will say, let the Holy Spirit step in first. Absolutely. Then you carry yourself inside, and you will not be struggling, not be having problems. And, and no, mm -hmm. there are still more issues that should be dealt with in marriage than than you carrying baggages into the marriage. You know. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Still around the fact that you, you I like said or that you, from what you said the other time that the spiritual preparation, our inability to adequately or let's even live adequately away from being adequate away from the statement, mm -hmm. our in our inability to prepare spiritually before we step into marriage is a major red flag. Mm. Another is psychologically, like the instance you made, that sorry, ah, what kind of nonsense is this? Why are they staring about on the fire? No, 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 no. I, I, what kind of, and you unknowingly project a negative image of yourself to your in laws. Mm. That may be hard for them to forgive because that is how they have been living their life, no problem, no issues, mm. and they've been enjoying it. So, being psychologically prepared ready. for it, ready. And 
what about before the marriage you can see the guy you are going and he sees an opposite, opposite sex and he say, hey, hi. And he's always calling some friends. Majority of his friends are females. If you can't deal with that before wedding, don't think that will stop okay. after wedding. Not, we don't, you are my friend. And I can't, you can't, there is no anything behind or above that that we are friends, simple. And we can go 10 years without talking on phone. Mm -hmm. So, but, um, so we are friends and we are not of the same gender. That's simple. So now, if you have not been able to deal with that before marriage, after wedding, you can't still deal with it. Those are the set of folks that kill their husband, stab their husband, do all kinds of things. Those are the kind set of kind of set of um, folks that will beat their wife to stupor, beat the wife, and eventually kill the wife because they cannot handle the fact that the lady is still talking on a platonic level with some of the, they are not, because marriage should, we should even be that cautious and sensitive that, okay, um, if I used to have female friends before, well, after marriage, things usually expand. Things that we used to do, like you said, that things that we don't, we were doing in the secret before, just, became known because yeah. now there is no reason to pretend I, we, we are in marriage. Even you want to pretend, later the lady will discover that this guy smokes, no matter how he tried to hide it. Mm. So marriage usually reveals things. Yeah. So things we, you can't handle before marriage. Don't think that lizard that is being or that she's been before wedding is going to become an alligator after wedding. Mm. It's still, I am sorry, I, I think I believe that, um, I'm not sorry about it, but I have discovered that people hardly change. People hardly change. And marriage don't usually change people, especially those that are holding on to a particular lifestyle, as mm -hmm. though without that particular pattern of life, they will die. I, I want to so, come in. I want, I want, sorry, Dad, but I wanted to trash out something, the okay. issue of friend, okay. the issue of friendship and um, also change. It's possible. There are some things, it, it depends on the kind of change you're talking about. Yeah. It depends on the kind of change. I'll quickly talk about friend, now come back to change. Hmm. Any friend, any when you get married, any friend, whether, whether male or female, that your spouse is not comfortable with, is awesome. advisable you part with. Awesome. Thank you. Part with, just know that, okay, this thing, because mm. we will not have issues, we will not have problems. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I, if I have a friend that is a opposite sex and my husband is, you know, okay, like, you know, most of my friends are guys. And if he had known, okay, most of our friends are guys. And, they had come to that this particular ones are not, they are not okay. Mm. It's advisable, I say, okay, no, because of my heart, because of the love I have for him, mm. and I want peace of mind. It's the same thing mm. for a guy. If you're, if you're coming uncomfortable with a particular lady in your life, mm. or ladies in your life, she might, she might, most women will like to mark her territory anyway. She mm. might be marking her territory, but at the same time, because you are, you want, you love her, because you want peace. In your home, it's better that you just part ways for some time. Absolutely. For some time, let breeze blow, so that it will not be that tomorrow it will not be another story. It's better that way. Then I'm going to talk about change. It depends on the kind of change you're talking about. It could like attitude, behavioral change. There are some behavioral change that can that could that could occur, mm -hmm. not because of something, but because of being matured. For example, this the, the devil I was um, 14 years. It's not the same devil. I'm sure you know. It's not, mm -hmm. the, it's not the same devil that is talking to you now. There's some things I've learned. There's some things I've unlearned. Mm -hmm. Unlearned is very key. There's some things I've learned that mm -hmm. I've learned that I've that you don't really need to do this. 
can yeah. come to you and that the truth. There's something I used to say, the truth doesn't need defense. You don't need to be like, okay, no, I want to prove a point. I, I used to be like that. I used to like, I want to prove my point. I want everybody mm. to just know that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But as I, as I grow mm. older, I see life differently. You don't need, if somebody doesn't agree with you, why you just leave it like that? You don't, you don't need to go on and on and on and on and on. And you know, it's just maturity. Sometimes Absolutely. it's maturity, sometimes it's your experience with people. Mm. My experience with people too, I've also learned, I've also made me to understand that people are different. They, they, they might not, some people don't, some people are not like everywhere like me. They might not be as sociable, but they are fantastic people. It doesn't mean that that doesn't mean I cannot relate with them. Before I used to feel like, if you are not like me, I, be, I, I cannot, I can't deal. But it's a lie mm. because it just shows that yeah, I'm not there yet. I, even till now, I'm not there yet. I'm still growing. So there are some little, little things that can change. But when you have a bad habit, a bad habit is something that it, it takes the Holy Spirit in himself. It's the same thing when we give our life to Christ. Maybe somebody that is sexually whatever before. When you give your life to Christ, it's small by small. Those are removing it. Before you, know, you stop listening to the kind of music, you stop watching a kind of, kind of movie, you stop some friends. So gradually you are changing. So bad habit too is the Holy Spirit, it's only God that can change. So, and that is why I will say it again. We men, we should open our eyes, open your mm -hmm. mind, let God talk to you. Me, I still believe in the will of God. Till tomorrow, they might, a lot of people call me old fashioned, a lot of people call me, I don't care. I believe in the will of God. If God is saying that this is your husband, and at, and at the same time, it's not that maybe if somebody, if, if you have a relationship and it's not working, then you want to die there. No, move on. There are so many wills of God that because both parties are not matured to handle whatever thing that is happening, it has destroyed. It doesn't mean that God was saying, was saying something wrong, no. But maybe both, both, both parties did not know how to handle it. And that's why it went wrong. God will definitely bring somebody else that will make it beautiful and fine. So that's it. Okay, fantastic. Okay, I want us to stay, stay with that a bit. Thank you for coming in on that. On that, that's okay. There can be changes. People can change, um, mm -hmm. but there is a particular change that still needs um, the higher influence mm -hmm. for it to be changed. Okay, mm -hmm. now about what you just said. Now that okay, if this person appears or appeared to be the will of God, and mm -hmm. when I step into the relationship with him. Mm -hmm. And you discover that, okay, sorry, this is not um, what I'm going to say. We immediately you step in, you know, to make you agree with him, to marry him. He started telling you about, okay, are you coming this weekend to do some cleaning for me? <sighs> cleaning for you? And <laughs> if you say no, it's going to be, it's going to be war. Um, and that person, you know, you just discover later that, so sorry, I can't deal with this. I cannot deal with this. So that fellow called that the will of God. Then she had to move forward based on your habits. So then God must have prepared another person for the lady. Then that is another will of God. If that one misbehaves, too, if that one is saying sorry, we usually do sampling before <laughs> marriage. So we want to know if you have the tendency to be pregnant before marriage. So there are families that do that. They usually make sure that, okay, they get the lady pregnant before marriage. So now that appears, that brother is really fantastic all there, and some, everything you are looking for was found in him. But now you discover that the only thing that is, you know, has brought a question mark on the mm. personality of the fellow is that he wants you to, he wants to get you pregnant before marriage. Mm. That is the will of God, potential will of God, and you have to say no again to that move. <laughs> that there is no we don't have one will of God then. No, okay. So, 
So I, I'm sure that I understand what you're doing. I understand okay. what is good that you're even bringing that way because a lot of people have misunderstood what the will of God is. Okay. A lot of people believe that, okay, because I said the will of God, so therefore it has to be a particular somebody. No. What I mean is that it's the will of God for me to be happy. Okay. It's the will of God for me to get married. Absolutely. Okay. How we do it, I don't know. How would you, who you will say, I don't know. But as you grow older, as you grow, as you grow stronger in your relationship with God, there's a way God speaks to you and you are mm. sure and everything points towards a particular person mm. that time. Do you understand? So but there are some small, small things, from well, everything they have said, there's some things that it is obvious that it cannot be, ah, come on, it cannot be, it cannot be God. It cannot, because if, if you look at the commandments of God, not just commandments, the, the will of God for our life, the things that he wants us to, the way he wants us to live our life, it cannot be like that. You, he, 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 we will never say that you should have a relationship whereby you first be tested and wrong. That is not the, that is the system of the world. Okay. So it cannot be the system of God. So that one already is, is, is wrong. Okay. It, it cannot be, it cannot, the system of God is not idolatry. You know, it's not part. So those are, those are the things. Anything that negates you pleasing God can never be the will of God. It's not possible, no matter how we paint it. And unfortunately for people, a lot of people, I don't know how they see, how they hear God. Some people, they hear themselves and they say, it's God that's speaking to them. You know, sometimes you see one fact. I like giving an example of myself. Because then, like, oh, okay, we're in the same ministry when we're in school now, Signet. There's this particular guy in our ministry. Then I liked him, eh? I liked him so much, even though yes, I've dedicated my life to Christ. And I was just like, if this guy should just come to me like this and say, Will you? Are we able to are we able to complete and say marry me? I'll say yes. <laughs> I <will> tell you. <laughs> to tell you how, how I like the guy. Mm. But each time I think about it, I'll kid you not. The only thing we tell that that is not your husband. He keeps mm. telling me that he said, yes, I know you like him. But that is not the person I have prepared for you. You know that marriage is beyond marriage is beyond what's the way I see marriage is a means is a means to an end. Marriage mm -hmm. should amplify you. It shouldn't it shouldn't degenerate you. It should amplify you. It should be a catalyst to where you are going to. So if you are going to be a minister of God, eh, the person you get married to is very key. Is very very important to you getting there. So if if me that God has actually, actually has already called, and I'm now I'm not showing my life to somebody that will not help me to get there, mm -hmm. that would be a problem. Nah? It will be a problem. So Absolutely. those are the so, so those are the, It's not just oh this person is good. This person knows Bible. This person no. The person is sent into your life to do something to take beyond marriage. Beyond oh I do I do. There is a service. There is an there is an impartation that must occur. Bible says that He has given us children, godly seeds. It's a responsibility. When you have godly seed, that means you have to nurture them. So how will I nurture children? Whether their father believes in smoking, drinking, womanizing, how will I fulfill the will of God that He has already planned for me? So those are the things. There are some literally. So when I say will of God, it's not oh. God appeared, God has shown me in my dream. And so therefore, this is the man I am mm -hmm. going to marry. No. In the, everything in the Bible is there. The will of God is pleasing him. I was created to please God. Mm -hmm. So my marriage should please God. My children should please God. Everything that pertains to my life must be, must align with that, with that pleasing God. So whether it is, and that is why if you have, if you for adventure, you like somebody, I don't know, for a funny reason, you start going out with that person. But when, when the signs start coming out, it is time for you to move and say, ah, okay, I don't think it's going to work. 